Hey there, Lynn Allen here. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. All right, have you ever been in a situation like this? You have join A on one drive on your computer. Wait, I got join A on another drive on my computer. Or maybe it's on the network. Or maybe you have two, two people that are accidentally working on the same drawing at the same time. Ah, what do you do? You need to know the differences between those two drawings, right? You need to do a drawing compare. So inside of AutoCAD 2019, they added a great tool that allows you to do exactly that. Before that, not so easy. You might have had a third party app. Maybe you used Design Review. Some people use that. Um, but now it's built right into AutoCAD inside of AutoCAD 2019. Now it's been updated in AutoCAD 2020, which I just love saying because apparently that release of AutoCAD will help your eyesight. Uh, but uh, we're going to wait till more of you have downloaded 2020 and then I'll cover the changes in that release. Okay, so this is a great intro though and I love the way it works. So here, let's see. I have a join file on my screen. I need to compare it to a different join file. I want to see what is the dif differences between those two drawings. So ironically, you go to the collaborate tab, which is new in AutoCAD 2019. Um, and I kind of laugh because if you were truly collaborating, you would not need this tool, <laughs> but it's okay. And here you'll see DWG compare. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and you will see that by default it takes my current open drawing and it puts it as one of the files that I want to compare. You can change that if you want to, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on here to grab the other drawing file that I wanna compare it to. I wanna compare it to this other version and I want it to show me the differences. And you can see that the differences in the first drawing are gonna be in the color green and the differences in the other drawing are gonna be in the color red. You can change those as well. So you can change those to any colors that make you happy because you know, Red's kind of violent, right? Kind of mean, it usually means bad things. <laughs> I love the color red personally, my car is red. All right, what happened on here? So it showed me, this is a new drawing file by the way. If you take a look on here, you'll see that it started a whole new drawing that compared the first floor version one with the first floor version two, all right? And it's actually just like a big block. So you're not gonna be editing this drawing file. This is really just informational only. But if you take a look up here, you can see clearly the differences between the two drawing files. And you'll see that you also have the ability to change the draw order. Maybe you want to put the version two on top. So you can see that there, that makes it a little easier for you to read. You can also turn off some of the information. Let me turn off everything that's common to both. I think you noticed that everything that was common to both was in a gray color. Okay, we can turn that back on. Maybe you wanna turn off the dif differences in a drawing two or in drawing one, whatever. So you have the ability to turn those on and off. You also have the ability to click on drawing information because you're probably gonna send this file to the two people that are in the same drawing file, right? You're gonna probably wanna save this information to the file so everybody knows what two drawing files are being compared. So I'm gonna say insert in the drawing and I'm gonna go ahead and place it right over here and make it a little bit bigger. We'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. Pull that down, that looks pretty good. And then you'll see that it has all the information between the two drawing files displayed on there, where they came from, what the directories were, who saved it, who's, who's the one who did it, <laughs> who did that? Anyway, so that's another option for you if you wanna place that educated information into the drawing file so that other people know exactly what's going on. Now, when I did this, I said I wanted you to compare text, but you can turn that off if you want to. Um, I did not tell it to compare hatching, but I could if I wanted to, to see if there was any differences between as far as hatching was concerned. And you'll see I also have revision clouds on. And you'll see that it did make some pretty big revision clouds in here. And uh, I mean, this is like one big massive revision cloud. So it's currently set to rectangular revision clouds. I like to change that to polygonal. And incidentally, you say that word polygonal, not polygonal, like you'll find in the Autodesk videos. Every time I heard that, I cringed. Math major, polygonal, not polygonal. But I think that when you switch it to polygonal, <laughs> hysterical, that you will see that it's a little bit more clear exactly where those revisions exist. Uh, and we'll, we'll wander through them to make sure that you understand as well so that they're clear. You can also change the, the margin. You can see this, I'm changing the margin on the revision clouds. I don't know how important that is um, as long as you can see what's happening. I don't know if we need to modify that, but I do like this. I can actually click through and it will go through all of the different revision clouds to make sure that I don't miss any of the changes from drawing compare. See, I like that. So I might've missed one of those because they were small, but now I don't have to worry about it. It's very, very clear. You can turn revision clouds off if you want, turn them back on. It's 
literally just that simple. I love that. Now, if you don't like the color of the revision clouds, incidentally, you could go into the layer dialog box and you'll see that there's a layer called zero markups. And you can go in there and you can change the color of that so you can make it more visible. That would look good probably on a dark background. It doesn't look so, so great on my white background, am I right? So you can control that as well. That's up to you. There's nothing more to it. It is simple, simple, simple. I love this feature inside of AutoCAD 2019. I can't wait to dive into the updated version of it in 2020. And of course, I'll bring a video with all the changes to you a little bit later down the road. So give it a try. Find out exactly what's going on in your join files. Do this great compare. And hopefully everybody will sync up and be on the same page because that would be great. All right. I'm going to see you back here in two more weeks. I hope you have a great rest of the week.